So could you tell me like some of the top priorities of FEMA right now, the top three priorities? Well, they're still in the response phase, they're still in the recovery phase um, of those that passed away in the fire. That's obviously a top priority. And then for the survivors, um, you know, food, shelter, medical assistance uh, as needed. Uh, those are the, the main things, that, you know, and so the, the basic things that uh, that it need to sustain life will be addressed first. Um, and then again, we'll move into things like the unemployment, food stamps. Um, there's burial assistance. FEMA will uh, assist in the cost of burying those that passed away in the fire. Um, th there's really a full wraparound set of services uh, that FEMA provides uh, survivors uh, and, the, and the families of those that, that perished uh, in a disaster, um, pretty comprehensive package. Mm -hmm. So do you have a preliminary sense of how much rebuilding is likely to cost? Well, in a fire, um, the, the interesting factor that has to be considered is many people will have uh, insurance. Mm -hmm. And so FEMA does not do what's called duplication of benefits. FEMA won't provide assistance to somebody who ha already will be receiving uh, a payout from property insurance from the loss of their home due to a fire. So. The, the process starts with if someone has a uh, homeowner's insurance policy or a commercial property has as a property policy, that they uh, process a claim through their insurance company. Uh, and then FEMA works to meet what's called unmet needs. We try to match up um, between the gap of what's mm -hmm. covered by insurance and then what's not that are eligible uh, benefits that people can receive under FEMA's regulation. So say someone owned their home outright and because they own their home outright, they weren't required to get insurance, property insurance, um, and say they didn't. So they, they have a total loss. Um, FEMA can provide assistance. Uh, I don't remember the exact number of these days because it's adjusted for inflation. The last I remember it was about $37,000 is the maximum benefit that FEMA can provide. And obviously that won't replace a house um, right. it's, it's a good initial start. Then there's a, there are other federal programs. Uh, the SBA, the Small Business Administration, makes disaster loans. And it's a little confusing for people because they hear the term Small Business Administration, they think it's for business, but they run a disaster loan program for all disaster victims and survivors. So um, someone doesn't have any insurance at all. Uh, for their home, they can get a, a tranche of money from FEMA. I, again, it's around $37,000 up to that amount if they're eligible. They can get a low interest loan from SBA. Um, people that have insurance, they can use uh, up to that $37,000 um, to meet unmet needs. FEMA will work with them uh, to see. And then if they have a gap, they can also get a small business uh, disaster loan as well. Um, so you have to potentially work with a number of disaster programs and your insurance uh, to put it together. And that could be a little daunting for people. Um, state and local governments can play a big role there. Um, state insurance commissioners, which you don't normally hear about in disasters, um, they tend to play a role in disasters in that they can help guide people through the insurance claims process. And if they're having a, a problem or a dispute with their insurance company, state insurance commissioners can step in and help to try to resolve those. So there's a number of different federal and state entities uh, that mm -hmm. work with people uh, to help them recover. Uh, it, it's going to it's going to be a multi-year process uh, right. to build back Lahaina. Uh, I'm sure is probably going to take five to ten years. There'll be people that won't rebuild. Um, they'll sell their property and somebody else will rebuild. There'll be people that want to get right back in and rebuild. And so it, it will be a, a lengthy process. Well, thank you so much for joining me today, Clifford. Thank you. Appreciate your time.